man. He's wasted on red wine. Red wine drunk is the worst drunk there is. Let's get the fuck out of here. All right, Captain Diabetes. This is it. Give me my fucking keys. You are in no condition to drive. Then die. Mr. Marsh, let me call your wife. Leave Sharon out of this, you little prick. Give him hell, baby. But... Sounds, you've done it again, butt lord. Huh, who to infect? <laughs> Why you keep letting him hit you like that? Duck or something? Hang on, Sharon's texting me. I can't type. Why the fuck can't I type? Why are my thumbs so big? Hey Siri, fucking take a note, tell my wife. Just fuck off. Just fighting. Poop emoji. I'm gonna feel way better after this quick puke. But hold on, you'll see. I learned this watching daytime TV. I think we underestimated the power of red wine. Man, she sounds pissed. Which one of you assholes told Sherrod I was here? Hold on, hold on. Be home soon. Looking for my fucking keys. Heart, heart, XOs. Take a cab. There. 
Nobody drinks and drives on Captain Diabetes Watch. trying to get new high-grade drugs out on the street. It's somebody trying to bring the Italians and Chinese crime families together and shit. Enough small talk. Where is Scrambles? Scrambles? We need this reward money for our superhero franchise. Oh, shit. Y'all just want a cat? So then there's Cisco. He just some low-class asshole start working two months ago. He be talking all this shit about making money off the crime in the city because some big shot white boy be running all the drugs and all the hookers and shit, right? Okay. Uh-uh, but not me. I'm my own pimp, you know what I'm saying? It's like I got one investment in this world, and that's my pussy, and I ain't putting no mortgage on that to some high-paying nigga talking about trying to make more money off crime and shit. Classy, classy, I'm sorry, but what, what about the cats? Oh, that cast? Okay, that's his little Asian freak named Yakibaba or some shit like that. He going around paying all these little sixth graders to take people's cast. That's fucked up. I think taking that pussy and, like, taking mine, you know what I'm saying? That's like criminal shit. Where do the cats go? I can tell you, but I ain't saying shit until I know I'm safe, you understand? These niggas ain't playing, and I need to know you gonna protect my ass. Eric Cartman, do you have any idea what time it is? This is a school night. Mom, not now. We're seriously onto something. You kids all get home now, or I'm calling your parents. Sorry, Mrs. Cartman. Please don't tell my mom. And who is this stripper woman? These cone friends offer me protection. Well, she's not staying here. Fine, fast pass, take her to your house. Okay. <laughs> And now, the news program that starts your day off right. Good morning, South Park. Good morning, South Park. A new vigilante took to the streets last night and has apparently single-handedly taken down the Famboni crime family. Here with more is a midget in a bikini. Tom, I'm standing outside the Book of Day Fagaccini where the vigilante declared war on crime in South Park. Security camera footage showed a young person farting in people's faces on their balls. It was just terrifying. The kid came in and just, just started farting on people. It was out of nowhere, man. Maybe someone's finally standing up to what's wrong with this city. This new kid's a hero. The kid's a menace, if you ask me. How long before he or she kills an innocent person? How long before Daredevil becomes the Punisher? Huh? Three seasons? Three seasons! Police called to the scene found a treasure trove of illegal items that they claim might tie the Italian restaurant to a larger crime syndicate. This may be just the tip of the iceberg. Certainly chilling stuff, and there are reports the vigilante possibly had a sidekick. There was thought to be a sidekick, Tom, but further investigation showed it was just some little twerp with diabetes. Thanks, Midget, and of course, the question on everyone's minds now, who is the farting vigilante? This is going to make us look bad. You fucked up. It wasn't our fault. This kid just came into the restaurant and started farting like there was no tomorrow. All you Italians are supposed to do is move the product. The Chinese and Russians do the rest. Everything has to be discreet and quiet or people are gonna learn the truth. That we put the product into people's drugs and alcohol in order to create more crime. You just keep doing your part in getting the cheese out on the streets. Or maybe I'll start dealing directly with the Russians. Or the Chinese. Or the sixth graders. Oh, man, what a great sleep. Yeah, I haven't slept that well in weeks. <sighs> so, you guys do anything interesting last night? Oh, no, you know, the usual. Just watched some TV and went to bed. Yep, nothing exciting in our b boring lives. Well, then, I guess I'll just be seeing you guys tomorrow. You've got a big day ahead of you, new kid. Get changed into your superhero costume and wait for a message from the king. How'd you do that? That was dumb. <laughs> 